Finally, the HQ 5.5 by 4 by 3 V1S. I really wish they would drop the V1S because it's very much a mouthful to say. And this prop is, I think, the best 5.5 inch prop on the market, which <laughs> doesn't say much because there's only like three of them on, on the market. About a year ago, when I started investigating 5.5 inch props, I think about a year ago, um, the reason I started doing it is because uh, the five inch props that we're using and we're flying on quads with GoPros and whatnot with uh, like what 575, 600 gram weights, the disc loading properties on a five inch prop is just not optimal. You don't get the grip you want, you don't get the, the punch you want, you don't get the speed you want, you don't get the efficiency you want. Six inch was an option, except that six inch felt kind of dull to me. It didn't feel like it had the, had a had good response. And also it was the jello issue of six inch. And there's you can deal with the jello issue in six inch nowadays, but it's still just a pain to do and, and you can't reliably get your video jello free. So 5.5 inch may have been the, the sweet spot in the medium, which would give you a couple more grams of weight that you can carry and, and still have good grip and performance, but you get the efficiency of five inch and the, cru and the increased cruising speed of a lower disc loading property of your craft. So, I have tested about five or six 5.5 inch props. When I started investigating the 5.5 inch props, I had a bunch of companies started making them for me and um, they all sucked, unfortunately. And one of them is going to come out, which is the best one of the group, uh, but it's still, it's questionable. It's a good 5.5 inch prop, but the response of it is just poor. So it'll come out probably in a couple months, but um, don't, I'm not terribly excited about it. This prop is the best 5.5 inch prop for a couple of reasons. The most important reason to me is that it's 4.8 grams, which is four, yeah, like 4.7, 4.8 grams, which, I mean, HQ is like a master at doing this somehow, is less than the weight of most 5-inch props. That's a really great thing. On top of that, it's a 4-pitch, so it's not the most difficult 5.5-inch prop, although I would recommend putting it on a, on a 2306 or wider motor. And I'll get to that in a second. This, pro this video is going to be like a pseudo review of the, of the Hyperlite 2405 as well. Um, I don't really want to do motor reviews. It's, 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 it's enough time. It's time consuming enough just to do prop reviews. Like, I'm just going to stay away from that. I'll discuss motors here and there, but I'm not going to do motor reviews. So, this prop feels very, very similar to a 5-inch prop. Not even a heavy 5-inch prop, a medium weight or a lightweight 5-inch prop, which is fantastic, which means the response is very close to a 5-inch prop. It's definitely not the same. It's definitely slightly more dull, but it's very close, which is great for me. The grip is definitely improved because you have much improved disc loading properties. And the quad that I'm flying it on here is 580 grams all up weight with a 1500 milliamp 4S infinity pack, which is a massive pack and a GoPro and everything. So that's fantastic. And with 5.5 inch, it feels, it feels amazing. It feels, it feels like it should feel. So here are, I'm not going to get to the downside of the prop yet. So other things about the prop, the prop draws about 20% more amps than a 5x4x3, which is, again, shocking. HQ is, is, again, shocking at making very efficient props. I don't know how they bust out this efficiency that no other company really does. Like, Dahl has just sort of started to get there with the, with the new 5040 blade, but still, it's, like, such a challenge for other companies. And, like, every single HQ prop is an efficient prop, except for a couple ones, like the square tip one. But for the most part, they're really good at they're really good about efficiency. So this prop is very efficient, especially since I'm putting it on 27, 22 kV motors. And I'll get to that in a minute. So the prop is very efficient, has great grip, great control, great response for a 5.5 inch prop. I would put it on the medium range of response on the five inch range, if I put it on the five inch range. The one biggest downside is that HQ loves their resiny soft material. This is the material that makes the blade super flimsy and what I think is the reason why the 5x4.3 V1S is so unpredictable and such a pain to fly for me. But this prop, this blade is, is wider, it's meatier, and it doesn't have as much flex issues because of the wider and meatierness and it has a little bit more weight so it has a little bit more plastic in it. But even on just 4S, above about 85% throttle, the blade starts to thin out and you can hear it kind of honking and and whining going, because it's just flattening out under the RPMs. 
which is really unfortunate because, um, yeah, I really wish I could hold up to the RPMs. And the prop is definitely not as fast as a, a five inch prop. It's a little bit slower and um, the punch is there, but it's a little bit slower. It's really quick to get to the punch, but it, it doesn't have as much top speed. It is only a four pitch blade or a relatively shallow pitch blade. <clears throat> But because you have improved disc loading properties, you do have a higher cruising speed. So that's that about the prop. If you have a craft that'll do 5.5 inches, <clears throat> I'd highly recommend picking this up and giving it a shot. I think it's suitable for racing too, because um, it's just really fantastic grip because you have that extra half inch of blade. And just to show you the difference between five inch and 5.5 inch, that is how much extra blade you're getting. But the whole blade is wider and bigger in the meaty area as well. But that's all. That's all it takes to get all this improvement. So about the Hyperlite 2405 motor. And again, I have the 2722KV. And I'm putting it on 5.5 inches. I don't really want to get into motor reviews because prop reviews already take up too much time. But I will point out the occasional interesting motor or high value motors or just discuss motors in general. I do test a whole wide variety of motors. And I will definitely tell everybody what I personally use because they're my personal choice motors. Regarding the Hyperlite 2405 motor, I actually wasn't involved with this motor at all. I didn't even know it was coming. It's a surprising motor because it's 29 grams and it's so wide. I think that it's a 5.5 inch specialist motor. I think it's a fantastic motor for the HQ 5.5 inch prop there. The two feel like they're really made for each other. Other than that, <clears throat> I would highly recommend the highest KV motor for 4S. For everything 4S, I would recommend the 2722KV. Don't be afraid of the high KV. If you're a new pilot, get lower KV because you're probably popping the throttle a whole lot and that's what kills your battery. If you're experienced and you're smooth on the sticks, you really want the high KV. It feels better. It performs better. It's a better motor overall. Um, the construction of the motor is great. It's exactly the same as the 2307. Uh, that's it. Take a look at the video. And if you don't want to see me ruin things, just close the video now. Don't forget to floss. Bye-bye.